Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to a long awaited video that I've been meaning to make for a very long time and that is Need for Speed Unbound on the Steam Deck. Yes, it actually is running as we speak and I wanted to give kind of an overview of the settings that I use for Steam OS and then later I'd like to see if I can give the Windows 10 variant uh, go and see if that actually is any better or any worse. But here we are in world. We're online and immediately we have 55, 53 frames a second. Yes, by the graphics quality that you see here, it is not good. Of course, this is being blown up to a 1080p screen. So this, when it's scaled down to Steam Dex, uh, what is it? It's like 1280 by 800 resolution. Honestly, doesn't look too bad. Yes, you can see a little bit of the artifacts, but like the frame rate is still pretty good. As you guys know, I am, I need to have a high frame rate, especially for racing games. So graphics quality to me can take a kind of a back seat as long as frame rate is higher. And yeah, as you can tell, there's some things that are missing. <laughs> but in race, we're at 40 to 45 frames a second. Looks like our CPU, yes, is at about a 100%. GPU is not very far behind. But this is, like, playable. Of course, depending on where you are in the map, also has a pretty drastic um, effect on your frame rate. We are now getting close to the city. We've got all sorts of pedestrians around. We've got that very nice lake off into the side. And we are now in the high 20s, low 30s, peaking up into the higher 30s. But I mean, yeah, it's not great. Oh, that is a bad spike. <laughs> so if we take a look at our settings. So motion blur is off. Screen resolution is actually lower than the 1280 by 800. No vertical sync. Um, I was... I had tried dynamic resolution scaling before, and this one you'll have to play around with a little bit. I decided to try uh, the FSR2, and that actually gives much better frame rate than doing the dynamic resolution scaling. So again, you're using the upsampler, the FSR2, because this is AMD graphics card, works a little bit better than trying to do um, the Intel XESS. And we actually did, instead of uh, quality or balance, we went straight to performance. We're going straight for all those frames. Uh, sharpening, 100%. And the rest of this is literally as low as it goes or off if possible. We'll go over here to our performance menu here. Normally, I have this set to a max of 40 frames. But uh, considering we're recording this right now, I have it to a max of 60. Disable frame limit. It's probably fine. But then we allow tearing. And then I'm actually going to try TDP limit off and manual GPU clock off. Let's see if that gives us any difference of performance. And it turns out... It actually does. We have an immediate increase of about 10 frames a second. I noticed with games like Forza Horizon 4, it's like the game would try pushing so hard. So you get like this momentary spike of like 50 frames a second, but then it would crash down to like 20 frames. And you're like, well, that's kind of weird. And it's literally the game pushing so hard to try to get those frames, realizing it's hitting like this thermal limit and then bringing it back down. So actually playing around with the TDP limit and the GPU clock speed actually seemed to work by bringing it both down is able to limit it so it wasn't hitting that kind of that heat limit or whatever that limit it was hitting. 
and was actually able to provide a more stable experience instead of jumping from 50 to 20 to 50 to 20. It was just a solid 40. So I'd give that a play, uh, play around with that a little bit. If you've got a lot of very consistent spikes, right now we're actually doing pretty okay. We're, we're fairly consistent at about 50 frames, but that's going to drop in a moment as we're coming out here. So again, there is... That is one of the best things I love about the Steam Deck is its customizability, its ability to just like, you know, I'm just gonna go over here and try, I don't know, half rate shading. Actually don't do that because the text became pretty much unreadable. Um, so then let's try, I don't know, turn on TDP, limit to 12 lots. What kind of effect does that have? We're actually getting a little bit higher frame, so I think that's because we're getting outside of the city. So let's crash our Audi R8 into the wall, turn around, and go back to the city and see if that uh, has any bigger performance advantages. So far about the same. Maybe, yeah, a little bit lower actually. TDP off, and then we gain a couple of frames pretty much immediately. So, yeah, it's play around with it see what kind of settings you guys get but like I was saying that's kind of the settings that I'm using there and then like I was saying graphics quality pretty much everything load off with uh, AMD FSR 2 on performance and here we are in the Windows side of things. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the same performance overlay that we do with Steam OS, so we've just got the frame rate counter up in the corner. And interestingly enough, I'm actually kind of surprised that the performance on just base observation is actually pretty comparable. I mean, it seems like that we've got these hitches or these moments that we have just these giant frame drops. Um, but I do want to confirm settings wise that I am trying our best to compare apples to apples here. It's not exactly the same. Again, if I'm in full screen mode or if in uh, borderless window mode, I'm not going to get the FPS counter there. Um, so can't really affect a uh, screen resolution here. We are running 1280 by 800 on the base resolution in the background. So then again, vertical sync is off. We're going back to FSR2 for ump sampler and we're running performance versus quality or balanced. Uh, sharpening is at 100% and once again, everything else is low or off. And again, we do not have the TDP or the frame rate limiter from the Steam OS kind of performance overlay, unfortunately. So, so far, I'm actually thinking if you're comparing Steam OS to this, it appears that the Windows version has a lot less artifacts and has a little bit more of a clearer image, but that is at the detrimental cost of frame rate. Uh, we are, I want to guess, on the order of 10% lower frames than we are with SteamOS. And then, like you're seeing there, we've got these just absolutely staggering moments where we're losing, like, I don't know, like, an entire second or two of frames, or just the screen freezes. And we're just kind of sitting there left to our own devices to go, okay, are we just... Are we still racing? Did the game crash? Are we still good? To be fair, if we were running something like, for instance, one of the other Windows handhelds, I'm trying to remember offhand, it's been a while since we've discussed what those Windows handhelds are. I'm, I believe the Legion Go, and then there was... Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. There's a couple other ones out there. Those... I get the feeling that you'd definitely be able to get better performance out of than with uh, the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is just really well optimized with SteamOS and with those Windows handhelds. Just by raw 
hardware, they're able to brute force through the Windows operating system a lot better than the Steam Deck is. The Steam Deck is just sitting there going like, there's a million things going on with Windows operating system in the background that we can't control, that we can't turn off, that it's just how the operating system works. And not having a better processor, not having a better graphics card, you know, that kind of stuff really hurts the Steam Deck. So running Linux on Steam Deck is just, yeah, we can, there's less stuff going on in the background, so it can just focus more on the actual game itself. Well, I'm not sure how we did it, but we are in a gauntlet playlist with just ourselves. The host actually decided to leave because they had better things to do. So here we are trying our best to play at night with all sorts of cops, with all sorts of NPCs and traffic all around us in the middle of the city. We're at 30 frames a second. We're actually in the mid 30s to high, well, low 40s. And we're actually not doing too bad right here. The one thing that I'm still staggered with, whether it be on SteamOS or on the Windows mode, is that, yes, this may look like a 3DS game when you take all the graphic settings and you throw all the way down. This game is not... I'm not gonna say it's really well optimized, but to be able to run this game on the Steam Deck means that Criterion did a fairly good job getting this game like well optimized for a large amount of devices that you know are able to play this. I am loving the fact that I can sit in my wife's office, she can play on her gaming rig and just, you know, 4K graphics, this, that, and the other thing. And I'm just on her couch, just like dorking around on the Steam Deck and yes, this is not a perfect experience because we're going to have these random frame drops and the thing that I also haven't really discussed yet either is slowdown, where I will just be driving and the frames will say that you're at 30 frames or whatever, but it feels like you just suddenly drop down to like 10. Like your car, no matter what car you're driving, just feels really sluggish and it just... You can't really control it all that well. So I mean, there's, there's weird kind of handling glitches that are tied directly to performance. And... At the end of the day though... I can, after enough trying can get in the party with some friends and we can play some events and as soon as it takes a while to connect yes and to get the party set up and to get all that to work is kind of a struggle but when you're in game and you get a couple of playlists going it works it genuinely works and I'm actually, again, very surprised to see that the Windows mode is actually working as well as it is. I was uh, figuring that it would just be... I've tried it before. It seemed like it was 15 to 20 frames and had massive slowdown. These massive, like, frame spikes. But as you can tell, like, it's actually fairly comparable to SteamOS. Oh, that was a massive spike. Ouch, 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 ouch. So at the end of the day, what would I recommend for the Steam Deck? Would I recommend doing Need for Speed Unbound on Steam OS? Or would I recommend it on Windows 10? Now this one should be kind of a no-brainer option, but there's a little bit more explaining to do with this one. Obviously, I would choose the SteamOS version over Windows. Just from the standpoint that it's got that performance overlay, you can better track how the game is running. You have many, 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 many additional options of being able to adjust the TDP and the manual GPU clock speed. So if you want to play around with that, you have those options, especially with when you're not connected to a monitor, you can throw it down to frame rate cap of 40 frames and that is to me that is the sweet spot with this game because 40 frames seems like the perfect place with 
all the graphics and all the settings and all that going on. The one caveat is, is when using SteamOS, trying to join parties is a huge problem because I'll try to join somebody else's party, they'll try to load into the world, and they won't, and like, the game won't pull you in, and then I'll just say you're disconnected from server, and they're like, okay. So you try it again, and the same thing happens, and you try another five times, and the same thing happens, and then you try to start the party, or have somebody else join your party, and then it might work just first time, so it's really inconsistent. But that's on the flip side, with the Windows version, whenever I've tried running parties, apparently the... I don't know if the Unbound server just sees that this is just another Windows device and doesn't have an issue, it's just like, oh, you're just running Windows? Not a problem. And it just loads in like there's no issue. When it's running the Steam OS, it like sees that it's a Linux device and it's like, I don't know. I don't know about that one. So, it kind of... Interesting perspective. If you're running, I don't know, single player mode, you're probably okay doing SteamOS, but if you're running more multiplayer events, I might recommend Windows. I might. Not having the amount of options that uh, SteamOS has is a pretty big negative downside. But as you can tell, like, I just kind of hopped in and we're playing and we're at a pretty comparable uh, performance level to SteamOS. And there we have it, SteamOS versus Windows 10 with Need for Speed Unbound on the Steam Deck. Let me know down in the comments section down below if you guys have attempted Unbound on the Steam Deck and have had differing results. If you guys have found better frame rates or better graphics settings or better sweet spots for where the performance of everything together just seems to work really well. Um, let me know down in the comments section uh, what you guys think about this video. Of course, if you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day today. Take care. Bye!